November 30th, Thursday, 2017. It is day 315 in the Donald Trump Zionist regime. Today we talk about survival. Survival for you, me, them, for everybody, even Tillerson. You know that Donald Trump is on his last leg if Tillerson leaves. Think of it like a corporation. When all the top executives get, start to get fired or they leave or they resign like Bannon, well, you know the regime is in trouble. But it's not only the regime that's in trouble. Americans in general are in trouble. Take this chart, for example. That 32 million, that's actually false. It's more like 40 million. There was a professor from New York who figured it out, had to back engineer it because it's all top secret. There are 40 million government workers, including the contractors. Here's the problem. You only have a little over 100 million people working, producers. We got 95 million not in the workforce. We got 70 million who cannot work. Unemployment numbers all fake. So a lot of these numbers are fake. There may be even more of us out of the, the labor force than they say. That's what's important. That's why the young people are worried in more ways than one. That's why they went to Bitcoin. Now the young people are going to get burnt because we're talking today about survival. Is Bitcoin going to survive? Well, let me make it easy for you to understand. I mean, who are you going to bet on? Are you going to bet on that sensitive little snowflake who's putting his money into Bitcoin? Or are you going to bet on the international bankers who have been controlling the currency for over 100 years. Okay, <laughs> you make the call. I'm not, I'm going to bet against both of them. That's where we can talk about that later maybe. I'm going to bet against both of them, but I'm definitely not going to go down with the snowflakes. We've talked about Tillerson possibly being replaced. This is survival and I cannot emphasize that more. I mean, if you're still on the Trump train, if you're still that dumb and you're, you think the Trump train is going to take you somewhere, well, I need you to pay attention to the pictures. Read this because Trump does not care about Americans. They say that a picture is worth a thousand words, and I hope that's true today. I'm just going to try to show you the pictures. Um, and you can lead a horse to water but you definitely cannot force him to drink the water. I mean, the thing here is that Donald Trump never met a royal dictator that he did not like. And plus, the icing on the cake is that the military-industrial complex can make $9 billion on these deals. Donald Trump is like a salesman for the military-industrial complex. He's like a marketing person. He's a shill. I mean, as we got 95 million Americans out of the workforce, I mean, the military-industrial complex, I mean, Donald Trump is endorsing, he's basically endorsing more violence in a world that, quite frankly, does not need any more senseless violence. No, what we need is factories, we need jobs, we need good jobs for Americans, but Donald Trump is focused on something else. He's focused on royalty. He's focused on big castles. He's focused on dictators. He, know, he, he brags about knowing all the richest and the most powerful people, but does he drag them, does he grab them by the ear and drag them to the Ohio River and say, that's where the factory will be built? Can you imagine? I know stories of people like Jimmy Hoffa who were dragged out of the factories in Detroit, the people who ran the factories in Detroit, Mafia people, they grabbed Jimmy Hoffa by the ear and they dragged him out of the factories because there used to be people in America who would grab you by the ear and they would say, that's where the factory is going to be. There were powerful people. There were men in America who were powerful, strong, and they feared no one. Donald Trump goes along. He must be a scared little boy who does exactly what he's told. The pictures tell me everything I need to know. Donald Trump could grab those billionaires by the ear. He could take them to South Carolina. He says, there's where the factory will be built. And if he said it's strong enough, 
the billionaire would do exactly what he's told. But no, Donald Trump is not strong. He's not going to help America. Donald Trump is going to listen to these people who are stronger than Donald Trump. These are the men who grab Donald Trump by the ear and say, Boy, you will do exactly what we tell you to do. And it's not for America. America, you need to wake up. There is no factory breaking ground today. There are just evil people who want to put us down with fluoride in the water, chemtrails in the air, RFID chips coming. You have no idea what they have planned for you, but Donald Trump does because he bows down to them.